Hi, it's Mama Rose, and this is the beginning of my vegetarian, or vegan actually, tagine dish. And so right now I'm just roasting the peppers, because I am going to put peppers on there. And because of the oxalates or the in the anti-nutrients that are on the skin and in the seeds, I'm getting the skin off by taking, by roasting the bell peppers like this and I'll put them in this baggie here and I'll be back and I'll show you how all of that comes out. I've already got the vegetables peeled and I'm preparing them to put in the vegetarian or vegan actually in this case tagine dish. Okay here they are they're just getting all steamed up inside this bag and I think maybe 10 minutes I'll leave them and then I'll come back I'll open them up and see if I can't scrape the skin off or most of the skin off then I'll start taking the seeds out slicing my vegetables and getting ready with the tagine seasonings okay I'm back I'm going to open up the bell peppers get a spoon and see how I scrape this out and it's been about 10 minutes or so not long Oh, there we go. You just I think you can just rub it with a with a um, paper towel, I think. Oh, let me get a paper. Here's a paper towel. With a paper towel. There. Can you see? Oh, did I go off camera? It's done. There you go. I'm just getting most of that off with paper towel, however you want to do it. And watch some YouTube videos with people maybe that do it better than I do. But I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of the skin off. And then I'm going to meet you back here when I am... I can I can get the skin off other ways too. But this would give it a little bit of flavor and get a lot of that skin off. And it just the moisture just bubbles up between the skin and the flesh. And if you've got enough steam going, see at the top it didn't get it quite, but I can get some of that off. And it can have a little bit on. I just want to get most of the, it's kind of slippery, <laughs> most of this off. So anyway, I'll be right back at you. I'm going to get the vegetables all seeded. I've got them peeled already, and then we're going to go ahead and put the tagine dish together. Okay, I got all the vegetables cut up. I have sweet potato or yam whatever you like these are carrots and they're just different color carrots i got at trader joe's dollar 99 organic a bag look how beautiful that carrot is then i did do the bell peppers i only put a half of each one in each color and i didn't use the whole thing some string beans of course everything's organic and i did take the skin and the seeds out of the zucchini so i have a green zucchini and then I have the summer squash which has the yellow skin on it but I peeled the skin off and then right here I have this and if you are going to use tofu for your protein if you're going to go with a vegan and you want the protein in it I like this one from Trader Joe's it's sprouted and organic that means it's not genetically modified and you know it's organic and it's sprouted so that means they sprout the soybeans first and then, of course, they're fermented. So I just want to get this block a little dry. It is firm, but I do want to get it a little dry, so I put paper towel around it. When I put it in the tagine, I'm going to go ahead and season it and put it in and just kind of brown it up a little, and then it'll be in the whole dish. So I'll, I'll be right back, and we'll go ahead and start assembling things and putting them in the tagine as soon as I make the sauce. All right, now that I got all my vegetables ready to go, I'm going to make what's called a shamula. Get this straight here so you can see it better, which is the sauce. I've already got my, um, what do you call it, saffron soaking in a little bit of hot water, or warm water actually, just warm water to get that going. I'm setting that aside. I got everything set aside. Inside of here, I just grated with this, just uh, one clove of garlic. And then I didn't have very much, but whatever cilantro and um, parsley I had, I, I chopped a little bit of that up. Now, this is the preserved lemon, and I did do a video on it just the other day. So go ahead and check that out. I went ahead and took the seeds out. I think I got all the seeds out, yeah. 
Looks like there's one right here. There it is. Okay. So I'm going to just go ahead and scrape the pulp out and save that for later. Actually, that's going to go in the shamula. What I'm going to set aside is the skin. And this is like the, this is the highlight of the recipe right here is the lemon, the preserved lemons. The Moroccan, the preserved lemons are just wonderful. So I'm going to go ahead and chop those up, that up really good. It says to put that in the shamula. So I'm going to go ahead and do that in there. And I'm going to go ahead and set these aside. These will get sliced up later and put in with the vegetables. So we got that in there. Then we want to start adding the spices. And this is where the really neat flavors come in. So we're going to go ahead and do... And you know, the lady that I got it from, this from, did not have a measurement. All she did was use a spoon like this, just a tablespoon. So I'm just going to go ahead and do what I saw her do. Just take part of it. And I, I should measure this and see what it is for you. I bet you it's a teaspoon. Let's see. I think it's just a teaspoon. We're going to start out with a teaspoon and see what that gets us. Because I don't like not measuring. So we're going to put a teaspoon of paprika. Now, I use sweet paprika. I, I, if you want to use another one, I'm not really sure. And again, same thing with this. I'm just going to use a half, a, a nice heaping half a teaspoon of, of cumin. Same thing with the ginger. I'm just going to go ahead. She didn't say, but I'm going to go ahead and put all these flavors in. And I think that's what I got. I got um, ginger, cumin. I need the water. Of course, I, I did the ground pepper. I didn't do ground pepper. Let's get some ground pepper going in here. Now, obviously, I'm not going to do a huge amount of ground pepper. You can add more heat to it later if you like, but I just put a little pepper in there. And I got everything in there. The only thing I need is the water, which is my saffron water and oil. I'm just going to add half of this right now because I want to just mix my shamula. Let me get my oil. And of course, I'm just going to, I'm trying to boost everything up with MTC oil. So that's what I'm using is my MTC oil for the oil. You can use olive oil or, you know, whatever oil you like. And I'm just going to squirt some in. They didn't give me a measurement. And I just squirted some in. So I would just say probably a tablespoon or two. And I, we want to mix this all up here and get it good. Now, I've seen people do this and also put tomato paste in it. I didn't chop this up very good, did I? No. Let me smell this. Oh, boy. All right. I will be right back. Okay, I just tasted it, but it needs salt. So I'm going to go ahead and add. I have my Celtic salt. I'm just going to add, it's a, what is this, a fourth of a teaspoon it up again and taste it. So I'm not sure if I have enough here because I really want to, oh, I didn't put turmeric in it. Let me get some turmeric. I don't know where I put my turmeric. I'll be right back. Okay, this is where I start deviating from the recipe. So I'm going to go ahead and put a smaller amount of the turmeric in. I'm just going to put a half a teaspoon of the turmeric in. And this is going to really get the color going on this. Beautiful. Right. I'm going to add a little bit of lemon juice too. Let's see. I'm going to add a tablespoon of lemon juice to this. All right. So, so far, and I will put this in the, in the description box. This is kind of experimenting as I go along. But I only did a teaspoon of all the spices. Now that I got this mixed in with the lemon juice, I'm going to taste it again. Okay. It's got a nice flavor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and throw some of this tofu in here. Actually, I'm going to put the whole bunch in. I'm just going to coat it and then stick it back in the bowl because there will be lots of this this shamula left for the vegetables. Okay. 
All right, so I don't know if Moroccan people cook with their hands, but Italian people sure do. So I'm just going to do that, and then I'm going to fry these up and just get them started cooking in the shamula. Oh boy, that looks really good. I mean, in the tagine. All righty, I'll be right back. All righty, I've been heating up the tagine, and I do have it on a diffuser. Um, the cast iron, I don't think you really have to, but I'm just going to put a little bit of that MTC oil in and get it going. And I do want to go ahead and get the onions. I have a few onions. I did not show you earlier that I chopped the onions up. I didn't use a lot of onions, but I just want, I had some left over. It does, usually these Moroccan dishes do call for onions. And so I'm going to go ahead. Yeah, that's not hot enough. All right. As soon as my oil gets hot. Ooh, there it starts sizzling now. I'll be right back. All right, there we go. Now the, the oil is it's good and hot. I'm going to throw the onions in. There we go. Now generally when you're doing this, like a tagine chicken or something, or I haven't done any vegetarian ones yet. This is my first vegan, actually, experiment. But you usually put a bed of onions down, and you, you get them cooked a little bit, and then you start adding your, your vegetables and your, your chicken, actually, and then your vegetables go in there as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and get those going and get them a little translucent. And then I'm going to go ahead and throw in my, my tofu, which is the organic sprouted tofu from Trader Joe's. And I went ahead and coated it with the sauce mixture, which is called a... I got to keep looking at it because I keep forgetting what it's called. So I'll be right back with what it's called. It's a shamula, which I'm going to massage into all of the vegetables before I put them in here. So this looks pretty good. Just a couple more minutes. And actually, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to pull these aside. And then I'm going to throw my... Oh, look, I'm in the way. Mixed up in those. And just get a little brown on those. There we go. So it's going a little, and I'll be right back. It looks so good. I wanted to get all that goodness that was in here, so I took some of my water that I put the saffron in, and I put a little in there, and I got it all swished around. And then I'm going to go ahead and put this inside the shamula that I have and start massaging the vegetables. I'm going to turn these before I go over and start massaging the vegetables. I noticed that they were uh, getting brown there, so I'm mixing in the onions with them, with the tofu. One of the really nice things about tofu is that it does take on the flavor of whatever you're cooking, so it's really a blank slate. A lot of people say, oh, I don't like tofu, and I don't eat soy anymore, but this is sprouted, and I am making this for somebody that does not eat meat. And I'm experimenting, you know, for Carmela, my granddaughter, because she is a vegan. And so I, I like to learn things that I can make for her when she's around or when we have a family gathering. But with the tofu, it'll take on the flavor of whatever you're cooking. When my kids were little, I used to do this with a Italian. So I used to make um, peppers and onions, or peppers, bell peppers, onions, and we used to do sausage. Ooh, not very good here. And so I went ahead and I replaced the sausage with the tofu. And my kids used to fight over who got the tofu. So I'm going to take you over here. I'm going to pause, take you over here, and we're going to start massaging those vegetables. All right, I'm back. Now, this is a lot of work. I mean, those of you that know me, I don't normally go through this much anymore. In fact, I eat pretty much carnivore, not keto anymore. But this is considered keto, and it is vegan. And like I said, I'm experimenting. So I'm going to go ahead and, and massage the vegetables now with the shamula so all the flavor gets all over the vegetables. And you can see what vegetables I use. So here we go. All righty. I'm going to just massage them and put them right back in the dish. And the, this is sweet potato, and I'm going to put this on the bottom of the tagine uh, before, while I cook everything. So I'm just mixing all that. Oh, that's very good. It's not real thick, but it's going to be, it's, the flavors are really strong. And so they are going to penetrate. And, of course, these are going to be on the bottom, so they're going to get more of the benefit of the, of the, uh, 
flavors, or the juice at least, the shamula. There we go. Now, I have seen recipes, we can't see, huh, where they will use tomato uh, paste in here, and you can do that. I buy tomato paste at Trader Joe's in the tube, and you could squeeze a little bit in there, and that's good too. I, I went ahead and got, I didn't, don't think I videotaped it earlier, but I did have some cauliflower in the refrigerator that I bought just for this, and I forgot all about it. Ooh, I'm getting low on the shambula. I might have to make up some more. And then here is the zucchini that I did. Oh, I think I'm going to have to make more shambula. So that tells me right there that I could use... I'm just going to do... This is good. These flavors are pretty good. That's good. And then I have the string beans right here. Yeah, I think I got enough. I'll, I'll pull put one of these back in and kind of get some of the shamula off of these. And of course, after I make this, I'll go ahead and let you know how it tastes. And then, whoops, I lost a string bean. Let you know how it tastes. And then I'll know if I need more or less. And this is where the preserved lemon comes in. So you're going to go ahead and cut the preserve, slice the preserved lemon up. You can put it on top, but I actually like getting flavors of it throughout the chicken, or I mean throughout the dish. So I go ahead and I slice it like this. You see that? Get, oh, it's so good. It's preserved lemon. This makes the dish, I'll tell you. Right here. All right. And I am going to go ahead and put that in in a minute. All right, so I'll be right back. Oh, those are looking good. Mm-hmm. Very good. So I am going to scoop these out of the, the tagine. This tagine is one I ordered on the internet, and it was um, $39, I think, or $20. I forgot, I ended up paying, yeah, it was about $39. I ended up paying $13 for it because I had some Amazon credit. Let me get this out of here. And I'm going to put just a little bit of my saffron water in here. Kind of degrade the pan a little bit. The juice is in there. A little bit more. Now I'm going to get my vegetables. So as I said, I'm going to put down the sweet potatoes first, get a nice bed of sweet potatoes on the bottom. And this is just proof that you can get out of your box of flavors and start adding some new things, new flavors, new tastes. You know, I come from back east where nobody has Mexican food and we pretty much just eat the same things and when I came to California, I did not, um, I did not know what Mexican food was. I didn't know what a burrito was. Now, obviously, I didn't know what Moroccan food is either. And this tagine that I found when Pier 1 was going out of business where I live is how I ended up getting the tagine and experimenting with that. So I'm putting the chunky vegetables on first, like so. And then I'm going to go ahead and get our tofu. And I'm going to dump that on there. Get a nice little... This is where the fun comes in. So, and you make it really pretty. Oh, I got to get the peas. I forgot the peas. You got to have the peas. I bought some fresh peas and I froze them. I'm going to put those on. And you want to just decorate it, make it look kind of pretty. So these are the bell peppers that I that I roasted, and you don't have to use bell peppers, and you don't, uh, can you see that? And you don't have to roast them. You see that? Oh, good. Okay, let me put a light on here. Oh, good, I can see. All right, where's all the bell peppers? I'm trying to keep things in line, and I went ahead and mixed everything up when I mixed the, the shamula up. Now, if you don't want to use bell peppers, because they can be strong, this is why I went ahead also, and here's the carrots. I'm going to put them upside down like this so you can see how pretty they are. Those are too pretty to hide. 
Let me turn this way down low here. Let me put a little bit more water in it because I don't want it to burn. So, whoop, I'm going to get in. A little bit of pepper. Carrot. Boy, it's noisy. I went ahead and got these, these carrots at Trader Joe's in there. They're different colors. It's the, the, the dark ones, white carrots, and then of course the traditional orange carrots. Goes in. I have no idea what this is going to taste like, but I will come back later <laughs> and let you know. So this is what you want to do. It's just this is this would be cute. You could have the kids do this, but you want to take it off the stove if you're going to do that. This is the zucchini. As you can tell, they're a little bit taller than the rest of the vegetables. So maybe I'll warn everybody that... Eh, there, I'll just throw that in there. I think that's what I'll do. I'll just take the tops off. So they're, they're about the same. The tagine has a tall, a very tall lid, so all these are going to fit just fine in it, which is another nice thing. I've got a lot of zucchini that I put in here. I don't know why I did so much zucchini. And I did do the summer squash as well. So those are two that are in there. Oh, I'll just put some more color. I'll put some string beans in here. These are just string beans. Green beans. Oh! Careful! Yeah, I guess if you're going to have the kids do it, you might want to have them put on some gloves. And definitely take it off the burner. You could always let it cool down and do all this. You know, if you let kids in, get into the get into the cooking part, then they are better at eating the getting into the eating part, which is healthy. So a lot of times kids don't want to eat it. They haven't really had fun with it. But if you put a new slant on the food. And, oh, look at how pretty. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just doing it. It's looking pretty good. I'm trying to get different colors in there. Mm -hmm. There. Oh, boy. There. I'm not, I'm not, I should be talking a little bit, huh? <laughs> there. It's looking pretty good. Then I'm just going to pour the juice over it and the rest of this... Um, the shamula. Got lots of shamula left in here. And I don't know if you can see, but I am going to take this and put it into my saffron water. It's right here. Get all those flavors in here. course we can't forget the preserved lemon so I'm just going to go ahead and kind of put that around the top like so it smells so good now I did not add any salt or pepper per se to the vegetables but the um, preserved lemons have a lot of salt in them. In fact, I'm going to take a little bit of the preserved lemon juice. See, I don't want to get the seeds. And I just want to put a little bit over that. Good salty. Saltiness. Oh, yummy. All right. So one good thing about not using a recipe is that I can always go back and watch the video to see what I did. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and pour the rest of the saffron water in here with the shamula that I got out of the thing. Oh, I forgot the peas. Let's get the peas in there. I am going to put some more liquid in here, a little bit more. Alrighty. Well, I hope this turns out good because, you know, it was not easy to do. It took a lot of time to do, <laughs> but it sure does look good. This is like a one-pot meal. I 
turn the I turn the heat down really low on it, so I am going to turn it back up again. And we'll check on it soon. Alrighty, there you go. I'm going to put the top on. There's peas in there. And put it up a little higher. And I'll be back at you. Okay, I'm back at this, and I did check it a few minutes ago, um, although I should just leave it. But the shamula that I made, I don't think was enough. So I made a little batch of shamula, just a little a little bit. I didn't even measure. I just made some more so I could pour it over the top and see what it does. Oh, boy. Let me get my spatula. Let me get that and kind of brush it on everything can't really tell what's happening. The vegetables are still not done. And it's been about 20 minutes, so it's 1237 now. We'll see what happens. I think there's a lot of juice. There's a lot of juice in there. Don't forget to put that salt on your in your shamola too, because that makes all the difference in the world. I think I'm pronouncing it right. But anyway, back to the drawing board. I put this back on. And let it go for another half hour. I'll check it in a half hour. Again, it's 1237. I'll be back. I forgot to put the olives in. So I've got these olives here. I just threw in there. And I did taste a little bit. So I do want to just do a little bit of salt on the top. That's all. And I'm going to put the cover back on. And I'll be back. All right, I'm going to take another peek. It's been 10 minutes. See how the vegetables are doing. Well, I can put a fork through the, this is the sweet potato that I put on top so I could test it. Yeah, everything's still not done. So it does take a little longer than I thought. Stick my, it is getting done though. They are getting done. Let me go ahead and put the top back on that. And go another 10 minutes. All right, it's been another 10 minutes. So I think it's been like, I don't know, 40 minutes altogether. This is taking a lot longer than I thought. Now those sweet potatoes are way done. And it looks like the carrots are done. It's the it's this carrot that's not that done. String beans are almost done. So what I think I'm gonna do, because I am going somewhere with this, is I'm gonna go ahead and shut off the heat and leave the cover on. And then it'll just continue to cook. And then by the time I'm ready to go in an hour or so, hopefully those vegetables will be done. And I'll come back later before I post this and let you know how it tastes. Okay, I, I have tasted this. And I, I put a little bit more salt on it. And I'm going to put some of my pure sweetener on the top because I think it needs a little sweetness. I think it needs a little extra Extra, extra flavor. And I think I'm going to get a spoon and baste this. Get some of these flavors over here. That looks a whole lot better. Oh, yeah. Now, this is not really thick. If I wanted this juice a little thicker, then I could have put some tomato paste in it. And I do get the tomato paste from Trader Joe's in the tube. So I could have put a little of that in, and that would have made this a little thicker. But I didn't. Let me get you back over here. Now, if I thought about it earlier, I would have put some other colors on top, save some of those, those other colored carrots to make it a little bit prettier. And But I didn't do that. There we go. All right, I'm gonna put the I'm gonna just put the cover back on and I'm gonna shut the heat off. Whoopsie Daisy. And let it go from there. All right. Bye. Be right back. So I put the cover back on it and I just cranked it up a little bit, the heat, just to get it going, and I can hear that it's really going good. So I'm gonna go ahead then and turn it off so there's some accumulated heat in there and then I'm going to check it in a half an hour and see how those vegetables are doing. I don't want them to get overcooked but I would like them a little bit more done than they are right now. 
All right, it's been another half an hour, and I'm going to check it again. Maybe it's a lot better. All right, let me get a knife and a fork. Oh, I got a fork. All right, let me try this white one, which was very um, hard last time I checked it. I'm good. Well, the first time I made this, I did not put the chili powder in, and I really like that flavor. This tastes pretty good, though. So, you know, you have to try it. Try a small batch. <laughs> I like it. And what I would do when I heat this up is I would thicken this, this juice a little bit with some um, arrowroot. But that's pretty good. What I could do is turn it on to heat it and leave the cover. What you'll see them do in some of the videos that I watched. I'm going to get a wooden spoon in here. And they'll go like this with their spoon. They put it in the in the pot and they just they let this hold the pot open and they turn it on and then they let the liquid evaporate a little bit and then it's a, the flavor would intensify in the liquid. And I might just do that. So what I'm going to do right now, oh, let me taste the zucchini. Let me taste the zucchini. Oh, wrong thing. <laughs> this is zucchini. Ah. Mm, it's got a nice crunch to it, too. Not overdone. I like that. What else is in here? Mm, my string bean. Mm -hmm. Those need to be done a little more. The string beans. Now I'm going to go ahead and eat this sweet potato here. Good. Well, mm. well happy Thanksgiving. Definitely a cumin flavor. I could, I'm going to change up the spices a little bit and do some other different dishes as I go along. And then you got the, uh, well, let me see, let me go see if I can dig out a piece of that tofu down here somewhere. There's a piece right here. There we go. Mm. All right, let's see. And again, tofu will take, oh, I lost it. Where'd it go? I dropped it. Here it is. <laughs> I was going to take it with my hand. Tofu takes on the flavor of whatever you're cooking it with. I could have cut these a little bit smaller, and then they would have been a little bit more flavorful, but they're really not bad. They really taste a lot like the sauce. There's really no main flavor to tofu. It just, like I said, takes on the flavor of whatever it is you're eating it with. So um, you're going to eat it with something. Put a little juice in there. Very good. Very delicious. I like the flavors. Anyway, have a great rest of the day. Thanks for watching.